Hi ladies, hi gents. Uh, I want to share a video with you today and it's a design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts and I've just put these down because I, I think I need a white background to show this off rather than the black. It, it seems to stand out better on the white I think. Um, so this piece is an altered canvas, mixed media style and I'm just going to go straight in and show you. I'm so thrilled how this piece turned out. <laughs> I really am. Okay. Let me see if I got it all in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so before I start, I did take some photos of some of the stages, you know, doing the background on this. So I probably won't go into too much detail on the background. Um, hopefully the photos aren't too dark because I actually worked on this at night so you know I only had the overhead light so they might be a little bit darker than I'd like but hopefully they look okay okay so this is a deep deep um, frame canvas um, which I haven't done one before this with this depth um, so I had a lot of fun doing this um, so basically I put some paper down used a lot of texture paste and stencils in the background um, gessoed it and um, used my sprays on it and hopefully the photos will be enough to show you what I, what I did with that I hope I <laughs> um, also put lace down a doily and um, I carried that over onto the edges if I just show you some of the edges you'll see and also some rhinestone um, swirls as well on there you can just see okay so uh, my main uh, feature on this was the the frame and the vintage image that inspired it alongside this key this ornate key here I'm going to try and zoom in um, were, were the things that I had together and I thought okay I'm going to build it around that um, so what, what have I got on here so I've got the frame which was gessoed and sp sprayed I've got the key which I love and then I've got some of the um, die cut pieces from Wild Orchid Craft so I've got one here which has the butterfly on it up here and this is from this set called the Louvre Borders Cutout Set and I absolutely love these. These are so gorgeous and the product code is GST053. There's another one underneath the key. Actually because this is a mixed set let me, let me open it and show you the two that I used from this set. So there's four in here, five in here, sorry. So I used this piece. No, I didn't. Hang on, the butterfly's facing a different way. Where's the other one? There it is. Because there's two butterflies. I used this piece at the top, which is this piece here. And then below that, below the key, I used this piece which is just stunning, absolutely stunning. So they both came from this set and these are selling so well on the store, they are absolutely stunning. They've got so many different ones, they are just gorgeous. I'll just remind you of the product code, it's GST053. Um, so that was in the background, then I put the key on top with a metal flower and then um, a little cherub here, a heart with a cherub, and um, the metal flower just in the top of it. And I've added some uh, uh, flat back pearls, and I haven't written down the product code. I'll try and pop it onto the screen, or I will pop it down below in the description box. I forgot to get those out. Sorry, the individual pearls, uh, Wild Orchid Crafts sell those also. Um, over in this corner I've got the tiny, hang on, 
tiny bird cage and then just on top of that I've popped one of the beautiful uh, Cosmo daisies and they just have perfect dimension for this kind of thing they're small but you know have a really nice fluffy dimension and this is those and I've taken this from the, the mixed aqua blue set um, and the product code is MKX124 um, what else All right. over here by on, let me just zoom out a tiny bit over here I've got some lace pieces with some tiny metal earrings, tiny metal spoon just running down there. I'll try and take some close up pictures so you can see in more detail. And it's got the tiny crown on the end. Um, and then just down the side of the frame I wanted um, small flowers again but with, with dimension. So the perfect ones for here were the lily flowers and I've got a row of the lily flowers just running down the side of the frame. I love these, absolutely love them so much. And I took those from the white and cream lily flower set and the product code is MKX128. And at the top of the frame I've the frame it was actually a little Christmas decoration this frame so it came with the little loop on the top and um, so I was able to tie some seam binding onto that let me just show you here and I chose the two colors that blended with the colors that I used in with the sprays so I have two different seam bindings there the first one is the bay leaf and the product code is MKX488 and it's such a beautiful colour, really really beautiful. And then I also used the, oh gosh, Oloroso. <laughs> And the product code for that is MKX478. And again, another beautiful colour. And together, they just look really stunning. Absolutely stunning together. I just love that mix. It's like a cafe colour. Oloroso. Oloroso. Beautiful colours. And they do so many different colours in the seam binding. It re they really do. I buy all my seam binding from them because they do such beautiful colours. Okay, then if I move down towards the bottom, I have um, a bird flying here, some of the swirls, and you know what, I forgot to get those out as well. So I will prop, uh, pop the product code for those down below also. Um, and down here I've got another one of the die cut pieces. And um, these are the Rainforest de Decorative Corners. And the product code is GST056. And again, these are gorgeous. Look at those. Really beautiful. I think, and there's four in there. Really stunning. I absolutely love them. And there's different styles. They are gorgeous. If you haven't gone and checked out the cutout um, pieces, they do, you really must. They are so ornate and so beautiful. Um, and then I've just put this vintage um, button on top of that. There. And then down in this corner, this is a hair clip, which is like a dragonfly. I've also put some leaf lace coming out from behind the flower and then this is one of the beautiful gardenia flowers I absolutely love these and again I was looking for dimension and texture so this was just perfect 
and these are just so beautiful. So this is the cream uh, gardenias and they come in a set of five and the product code is MKX080 and just finally I just want to show you what I did on this side this side of the canvas so I've been using these um, upholstery pins um, and I thought what a great way to attach things to the side of the canvas so I just hammered an upholstery pin in in the side here making sure that I got it into the frame in the right place and then I just attached chain and charms to that and again I gessoed these and sprayed them and I just love how they turned out and these are just um, chains and charms from my stash like I say, I will be attaching uh, photographs for this piece because there's so much going on, it's quite hard to show you every single detail. But as usual, I will pop all the links down below to the store and the Facebook group and I will also list all the products, including the two that I forgot to get um, the product codes out for. Um, so I really hope you like this, it's one of my favourites. <laughs> I'm really thrilled how it turned out and um, hopefully I will be back very soon with another project. Bye for now.